Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, what I want to do is take you guys a step further from the golf ball challenge. I hope you guys like the golf ball challenge. It was an activity. I'll leave you the link at the end of this video. Um, once my students get their kits and it's organized, I like to have them do that activity just so they can get used to the parts and the pieces, getting along with the partner. But then once we move on from that, I have my students build the educator robot, and then I'm gonna show you today in this video, what do they do once they get that built? Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay, so my students, as soon as they got done with that golf ball challenge, they had um, the robot built for the educator robot. So once they got that built, what I wanna do is focus on maneuvers. I want them to be able to get used to programming, but to know how to have the robot go backwards, do spins, do turns, do forwards, and get used to just the brick programming, get, getting used to time, figuring out their robot, how do their motors work and everything like that. So what I do is I give them six maneuvers for them to master. And once they get those masters, what they do is, because a number cube has six sides, I have them roll a number cube whatever number pops up, I'm gonna have them do that as their maneuver test. So each student is going to prove to me that they can do that one mission that they rolled on the number cube. So I, I just encourage my partners, you know, the whoever the partners are, to be able to just share with each other what the programming is, so that way when each one takes their test, they know exactly what they're doing. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead in this video, show you what those six maneuvers are, and then just, you know, give you a look around the room on how my students practice for it. And then eventually they'll take their test. So let's go ahead and go to the maneuvers. Okay, so eventually I tell my students, hey, come see me like you would a mathematics test, you know, your multiplication facts. Once you feel like you know it, all those six maneuvers, come to me, they'll roll the number cube and they'll take their test. And I tell them, I say, you know what? You can never fail this test because if you get it wrong, you just do it again until you get it right. So I just have them be able to know that they can fail, try again, and for those of you that are, you know, really going to use this, I tell them on missions one, two, and three that they can use notes. You know, they can write down how far their forward was for, you know, how long was their turn. So they're able to realize the importance of notes on a test. So I tell them, you know, share your notes with your partner. You can use those when you're taking your test so you know how to program that. Okay, guys, so, you know, leave me any questions that you have, <clears throat> I left you the link to that Google Doc that has those six missions typed out. And feel free to use that, feel free to copy it, whatever you want. You can also let me know if there's something you think I should substitute in there for one of those six, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missions Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out 
these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.